Okay, hello everyone. Now we are going to draw the pictures that you've probably seen in advertisements or on the Freya Art Facebook page. It's like the opening image for this course. Let's get started. Before we start, let me explain some things first. We will draw this picture without a background at first. So, we will draw only this first. Then, in the bonus chapters, I will teach you how to draw flowers and leaves, and where to place them in the picture. We will draw the lines first, then do coloring. For this picture, I will trace all the lines. Okay, let's draw it. First of all, I will create the canvas according to the screen size. My screen size is about 2,700 by 2,000. If your screen size is different, please set it to 2,700 by 2,000. We've got our canvas. Let me insert a photo. When you place the photo, fit it on the screen. I will fit it on the screen now. Reduce the opacity. Now to save us time, let's trace it. Or if you want to draft it, you can. It would be good practice for you too. Add a layer, I will rename it Draft 1. Choose our peppermint brush. Choose a black color. Let's trace it. Everyone should already know how to do it. The pupil is in the middle. For this picture, we will do coloring too. Coloring is not difficult. It'll be like flat coloring. We focus on quick work. The corner of the lips is here. You need to check how her lips curve. This is the second time I've drawn this one. We lightly trace the curve here. There is skin inside the waterline. There's the outer waterline too. Here we draw the lower lid crease slightly. She has eyeliner too. And the upper lid crease. Then the eyebrows. These eyebrows don't look fierce. We don't know the direction of our eyebrow hairline, but we can draw it because we've already practiced it. We draw the overall shape first. Then we draw it like this. Let me check this a little. Here's the eyebrow separation. It's quite hard to see. It's quite light. Where the lines are in a downward direction, it is very light. Therefore, we don't need to put too much weight when we do the inking. Draw the line here slightly. There is a shadow like this, so we section it a little. You need to check it too. Okay, there is an eye and a very circular iris.
the chin. We will draw the top of her clothes too. We'll finish the top part of the photo first, then we'll trace the bottom. Draw the locks of hair. These lines here are quite open and separated. Because her fringe is quite thin. They are open lines, not closed lines. They are separated and open. Go. Do you see that it's wavy here? Each lock of hair is tied up, it's curved. Or you can do this here. Draw it to help us know her hair is tied there. The layers of hair. Here too. Can you see it clear? The hair is like it goes down this way, then upwards. About this. A lock of hair. There is hair at the back. Let me draw here first. Here is the ponytail. Then there is a line here. It is similar to what we drew in the women's hair drawing chapter. Trace where you see the hair, like the layers of hair and locks of hair that we can clearly see. Trace from here downwards. There is hair here too, it overlaps. Erase it, otherwise we will be confused. There's a layer of hair here too. And here. It curls upwards.
There's a lock of hair. Okay, there's a lock of hair here. We trace it. So we will know here is a lock of hair. Top of the clothes. Here is a lock of hair. Here is the seam. I will draw the pattern roughly. So we will know how the pattern looks and how we will draw it. Here we will use a dotting brush. We don't draw everything. We will use the brush to help. Okay. Done. Where else are the locks of hair? Go. We have finished our tracing. I will close the original layer. We've got it. Now we can do the inking. Go. Uh, let's do the inking. I've already added a layer and renamed it inking. Then we use our favorite brush, the Freya Inking Pen Sharp Brush. I'll choose. I want to change the color. I'll choose brown. The picture will look softer. Let's start from the face first. Actually, we can change the color. For this photo, I'm doing it for the second time now. I'm not sure if it will come out like the first time, but it will be about the same. In the example photo, I used quite a small brush, so the picture looks fine and soft. I think I will use a bigger brush for this one. Okay. There are the lower eyelashes. Slightly, they are short. Don't put too many because the original doesn't have many. About this, then a pupil. Nose.
Lightly? Where is the light? Where is it heavier? We need to check. Here is the skin that we cannot see clearly. We need to use light lines. Use another finger to long press on the screen. You will get a circle. From the example photo, it's a circle. A pupil will be circular and then filled with a dark color inside. I better do it like the example photo. Actually, we can do it. It will make the eyes look more like Western with a lighter color. There's a crease for the upper lid. Okay. Let's see how the original lips look. The corner of the lips will be quite dark. They curve upwards slightly and bend downwards a little. You need to look really closely. For the outer lips line, I use the super sharp brush. The lips are a little bit too full. Okay, then draw a curved line by the nose. You can choose if you want to have it or not. Okay, for the inner eyebrows, we don't draw thick eyebrow hair. The inner eyebrow is quite small and the eyebrow hair is not so thick, then it gets slightly thicker. Her eyebrows are not thick, they are quite thin. By the outer eyebrow it will be quite thick. About this, we will add lines here a little. Don't leave a space by the separation here. It'll look like her eyebrows are not complete. Okay, I will draw the eyelashes. I will start from here, here and here. Then I will fill them up. Add eyelashes because she doesn't really have them in the original. The eyes are done. In the original, she opens her lips slightly. Here. Let me edit the lips slightly. Okay? The facial outline.
trace all of the lines. I will trace everything first. Draw the overall shape first. Trace all of the lines that we've drafted. The hair will be last because I like it the most, and it's the most difficult and takes the longest time. I will trace the other parts first, but you can start with any part. Some people will start with the part that they like the most, others will start with the part that they don't like. It's up to you, because in this step we only trace the lines we've drafted. Let's see where else there are lines. Go. It depends on what you think is good. Trace the long line. For the clothes, they don't need to be exact. We just draft them quickly. They don't need to be perfectly similar. They don't need to be as similar as the face. Go. Trace very roughly. <laughs> Trace every line. There are the lines here too. They are for the pattern of the cardigan. Now let's move on to the hair. For the hair, I drafted quite a lot of detail. We will trace it all. Let's get started. As I said, the fringe lines are opened and separated lines. It's not like the hair that we drew in the earlier chapter. Previously, we drew closed lines. It's like we drew layers of hair bunched together. But for this one, there are opened lines for the fringe. You can draw all of the hairlines at once, or you can do inking for the general lines first. 
as I taught you when inking the hair previously. You can do this by inking the general lines and layers first. Go. The center point is here. How is it? Let go. The line is curved a little. Ah, is it okay? Let's close the draft one layer. If you can draw thinner lines than this, I suggest you do it. The thin lines will make the picture look finer and softer. Are you enjoying it? Let me add hairlines here slightly. Let me add hairlines around here a bit more.
Drawing long lines is quite difficult. Ooh, I'm nervous. Go. Let go. Okay, add a fringe line here slightly. Yay. I'm nervous. It's 20 minutes already. <laughs> We've done this for 20 minutes. We've only got the face and one part of the head. If we keep doing this, we will do it quicker. This one is detailed work, so it takes time. If you want to do it quickly, like you are drawing at an event or something like that, I think you don't need to draw a lot of lines like this. You need to be on time concerning what you've been assigned. If you're at an event where you need to do speed work, you can trace from the original photo and then draw the main lines and lines for the layers of hair. Then the locks of hair slightly. That's enough. Okay, I will draw the detail. Let me reduce the brush size slightly. Go. Here we will draw it like this. It will be like a fan that spreads out. Okay. Uh, draw along the line. I don't use a very small brush size. In the example picture for the course advertisement, I used quite a small brush size. Here is a big gap. Okay.
go. Keep it up. Keep going, students. Do it patiently. No rush to submit it. Keep doing it until you think this is your best work, then you can submit it. Fingers crossed. Okay. Or if you feel that the weight of the lines I've drawn is too even, you can check the original and then, or where you see the layers of hair are light and you can leave a big gap between the lines. Where it is darker or folded, you can press your hand slightly harder. I want it to look folded here, so I press when drawing the line. Okay. How is it? Are you okay? Let's continue. The line here is wavy. Draw over it. Decorate it. I will twist the lines. It doesn't have it in the original, but I want to have it. Go. It's a fold here. Draw the fine lines, make it darker. Okay? Draw up to the top. Fingers crossed. Okay. Curve it. Enough. Do you think it's enough? Okay. The front of the hair is like this. There's a lock of hair here. I will draw it. Then erase it. Fingers crossed. Okay.
Okay, now we might add some small locks of hair, or you can add them later. I will add this side a little bit. And the original, the curves are not as beautiful as this. And the original, it's like a general woman's hair that is a little bit curly, something like that. I like to add some more style for her, make the lines more curved than the real photo slightly. The picture will look delicate, vintage, and have a clear style. There's the hair layer here at the back too. It's folded. Actually, if you need to submit the work in a short period, I think you don't need to draw this fine. This, I teach you to know. But you can adjust to do the work quicker than this too. Okay, come on, draw an ear. Add a line here. Okay. Let's see if there are any locks of hair to add. I will add some very fine lines. A light line. Uh, okay, let's draw our ponytail. Okay, now it's a long line. So I draw this line. You can find your most comfortable angle. You don't need to draw at the same angle as me. You can change the angle, see? I keep turning the screen to find the right angle for you. The lines don't need to be drawn just upwards or downwards. You draw them in any direction you're comfortable with. Okay, two more long lines. It's not right, it's two more main lines, but there are many more lines we need to draw. Go. Let go. One more main line. My iPad screen is 12.9 inches, but I still feel it's not enough. I want it much bigger. I want it to be a specific screen for drawing.
Okay. Okay, draw it parallel to the main line. Let's go. Let's draw the shorter line so we can breathe. There is a wavy part on this line, we can fix it. Okay, let's draw the long lines. Okay. Okay, come on, continue drawing. Hey, it's very long. Drawing and complaining? We're almost finished. We've almost finished this line. I think it's much easier if we zoom in and draw. Go. Yay, it's almost done. Only the hair. <laughs> okay. Go. There's a line in between here. Draw through the narrow gap. Okay, it's out from the narrow gap. If you are very attentive and zoom in to draw a lot, I think you should consider the resolution of the work. If the resolution is too high, it will take longer. Some works don't need those details. Sometimes you need to stop yourself too. I know it's enjoyable. 
So you keep drawing all of the details, then all of a sudden it's too much detail and makes the picture look heavy. It might not be good for the overall picture. You need to stop yourself sometimes. I'm so thrilled, let me tell you. See, it's Rye. Okay, go through the narrow gap. Okay, fill it here. Hey, it's very difficult. If you can do it, you will be stronger. There are different levels of difficulty. If everything is easy, anyone can do it. And then there will be this kind of work everywhere. Besides getting the technique right, you need to improve your skill level too. You do what you need to practice a lot or find your style. For example, I like to use pastel colors in my portrait work. But after you learn from me, you may use neon colors. I think it's cool. You can use trendy fashion colors and add more texture to it. You can add anything to make it unique. Because I can only teach you the technique, but you need to find your style yourself and don't rush yourself to have a style. We need to think about what you use and what you like so you can add it to your work. It can't be changed. I think finding the style is like a journey. It's like the story of our journey. Sometimes we find something, sometimes we find inspiration that can change our styles. It's almost done. Yay, yay, yay. I'm so glad. This is quite tiring. Twist the line a little bit. When we twist the line, instead of doing it like this, we draw the line to meet the other line. This creates a layer of hair and then we can fill the lines. Let's go. Go. There's a fold. It's darker here. Okay. There's a line here too that is part of ponytail. Here you can draw over this layer and erase it later. But you need to erase it perfectly.
Okay. Let me repeat this. If you want to practice with fine lines, create a softer looking picture. You can use a smaller brush size. Try to practice it. I'll erase it here. The eraser brush is the same brush I use for drawing the inking pen sharp brush. Go. It's almost done, keep going. Draw the layers of hair first. Draw a big layer first, then draw the fine lines inside. Okay. Go. Ah, uh, how is it? There is a lock of hair here. Okay. Ah, uh, like this. There are lines here too. Draw all of the hairlines. Here is folded slightly. Okay. This part is done. Now let's see where else we want to add locks of hair. Look at the original and check where she has locks of hair. But don't add too many. If there are too many, it will look messy. I will add a lock of hair here. As I said, sometimes when the hair outline looks very straight, it will appear rigid. We can add these lines to make it look softer. Erase it too. Where else? Look at the original and see where she has locks of hair so we can draw them. If you have time, please check.
Let me add some lines here. Okay. Where else? I will take some time to add more hairlines. I want it to look beautiful. Add these lines and curve them downward slightly. Go. Let's go. Okay, come, come, come. Where else? Here I think by the ponytail we can play with it a lot. Because it's a part of the hair that can be messy. It isn't attached to her face. If we add too many hairlines near the face, it will look messy. Okay, what do you think? Should I add more? Okay, I think it's enough for the hair and face. I will continue drawing the cardigan. The cardigan is knitted and it has texture. We will use dots here. I will use the dots line in a straight line like this. I will draw it here now. It looks like a knitting hole. I will draw just like in the original, but it will not be exactly the same. We just keep decorating, or you can add more patterns to it. You can try. Everyone has the dots line. I've already added it to the brush set. It looks like a cardigan. I will draw it here. Um, or if you don't feel confident, I suggest adding another layer for it. There is a dots line here which slants slightly. It's in a different direction. There are many dots brushes for you to play with. It's fun drawing with the dots line. Erase it.
Okay, come, come, come. If you are too lazy to leave a gap when you draw the dots line, you can use the selection tool. I'll show you how to do it. Go to selection, choose automatic. I'll draw a dots line in this space. This space, this space, and this space. I will choose this space again and again, automatic. Move it slightly, then do it again. Oh, I haven't drawn this line fully. I will fill the gap in the line. Go to the previous brush, then fill all the line gaps so you can use the selection tool. Okay. Go to Selection and Automatic. Pick the space you want. You can choose a sequence of the selection so there is no white edge. Okay. Go to Brush Library and choose the same dots line. I'll draw it now. I don't need to worry that the dots line is outside of the space outline. Um, it's much faster. Okay. Let's see where else we need to add the dots line. Where else is there a texture like this? Where has a hole in a strip like this? I'll add a dots line here. Here. There's no restriction about specific dots or textures in a specific space. You can do it as you want. For this, you can play with it however you want, or you can add a pattern or draw flowers. I think I will add a dots line about here, then use the same brush but a smaller size to draw the seam. I'll use the selection first and see where we will draw the seam. I've already done this in the example picture so I will follow it. Where else? Here too? Okay, let's decorate it. I will use the same dots line, but a smaller size. I will draw along the strip to make the seam. It will have fine dots. If you have time, you can decorate the clothes. It will be charming. It can bring out the character of the original model clearer. If the model is very fashionable, we can focus on their clothes. I think it's very interesting. And the model will like it too. The person who receives our work will be like, hey, that's me. It's impressive. If we have a customer who owns a fashion brand, we can draw their clothes on their customer. They will be delighted and pay you wages. Brand name stores often have events to give gifts to their customers. 
particularly during the festival period, they will search for artists often. But it's not always portrait drawing. It might be drawing on the clothes bag or something like that. If we can do many things, it would be great. Okay, it looks like a cardigan pattern. It's enjoyable, keep drawing. Where else? There are dots lines here too. Let's see where else. Here. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> ah, draw it. Okay, I think it's enough for the texture. Oh, there are dots lines here too, I forgot. And there's a gap on the line. Let me fill it up. Fill it up, you need to check it too. The lines need to meet each other, otherwise we can't separate the space. Okay, we've got it. We will use a dots line brush, the same one, but a smaller size. Okay, now I will fill dots randomly in the rest of the strips. Here, here. We will randomly fill separated dots. We can use this one for separating dots randomly. This one or this one? I will use this one, dots one. Paint it. Here it is folded. I will change the brush and use this one instead, dots too, and fill in to make it look darker. Make it look like a shadow. If you draw tattoos, you can use this technique for your design. Let's see where else there is space. Ah, there's a gap again. You need to check too.
it's better to fill it with a smaller dots line, right? But it will go in another direction. Let's draw it this way. I will draw it in a different direction so it doesn't look too similar. I better draw a straight line. In this space, I will draw slanted lines. I will curve it to make it look slightly convex. Here too. Okay, finished. These are all of our lines. I will close the draft one layer. It will look like this. Before you make up your mind that it's completed, I would like you to check and see if it's really complete. You need to check it. I will add lines here slightly. I will tuck the hair behind the ear. Okay. You check again and see what else you want to fill and add. For me, I think I'm happy with it now. Then I will make it similar to the example picture. The example picture is brown. The line color here is like a light brown, pastel brown. It's quite pastel brown. I think the color I've used is about this. It's up to you what color you want to use. I will change the color of the lines, go to the inking layer, and tap on alpha lock. I will drag the color here into the picture over the lines, and then drag it to the edge. Or you can tap on fill layer. When you use fill layer, it will change the color of everything. We've already changed the color. If you're not happy yet and want to adjust the color slightly, you can go to Adjustments. Choose the first one and change the color to see if you like it. This is called color changing. It's changed the whole layer. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like or leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. As a thank you, loyal subscribers receive a 10% discount on my Procreate Portrait Academy. Check the description for coupon code. See you in the next video.